This video is for all of you road warriors out there, for all of you people who drive on the road and have to use public restrooms and toilets and just some of the most disgusting places in order to relieve yourself. This video is for you. So here we are in a private restroom or family restroom, which is perfect. This is where you want to be. It's secluded. Usually nobody ever uses it or not use that much. The biggest problem with this one restroom here is this. There's a handle that you have to touch in order to get out. Everybody knows that people who don't wash their hands and they touch that handle, now your, your hands are affected and they've got germs all over them all over again. So it doesn't make any sense. So, and I'm gonna teach you also why you always need to either touch it with a towel or with something, your shirt or something, because I'll show you what I do that will disgust you and make sure. So, this restroom here, the stuff on the, on the floor, you can tell somebody was already in here. It's gross, so I try to, uh, to let it down. Now, before sitting on the toilet, this is what I do sometimes, and majority of the time, so this is why you always wanna make sure you clean your toilet. First of all, I always get a little paper towel. Now, I used to wet it. I used to put soap on it, and which is a pain in the butt because it would get sticky, and you just, you can never get it off before you sit your ass on it, so it was ridiculous. So, uh, what I do now is use my own spit. That's right. I said I use my own spit. So I used to use my own spit. I would wipe the toilet around. Wipe here in this section where you're going to be sitting. And then that's it. Throw the towel away. Now, luckily... In my job, I happen to be able to have these little wipes, little alcohol swabs. They're not that expensive. I recommend you do them. You go get them. Um, they're well worth it. So this is what I do sometimes, but you always want to make sure that you wipe. So I take out my swab, throw away the package, and then I use this swab as you can see, to wipe down all of the toilet. And even this section here where your penis is going to touch. And then throw those in there. Now, get yourself a good amount of toilet paper. This happens to be the, still the cheap crap kind. All right. And this is what I'm going to use to place the barrier between this part of the toilet and my body part. So. Let's do this in real time. Don't want you to see anything, but I place it in there and boom, I can sit comfortably. Simple as that. All right, do your business. Now what I like to do when I'm helping you guys out because I do happen to visit a lot of restrooms in my field. I like to get a lot of toilet paper for the wipe, at least three sets. So I get one set. Two sets of toilet paper. Sometimes three. Okay, and then I use one, of course, to wipe. Check and make sure you're okay. Me personally, I like to stand up to use, to wipe. Just makes it easier for me and just the way I am. So I like to stand up. All right, I get to bend over, get to do what I need to do. Like I say, I know it's clean, so no worry about it. And then that's it. If I need the other one, boom, I got it. If not, I'll throw it away. So pull my pants up. All right, now, so here's another reason why you want to wash your hands. Because I don't ever touch the handle, ever touch the handle. 
I always use my feet to flush. Simple and easy. The less I touch, the less germs I have to worry about. Now, as for washing your hands, you're supposed to wash your hands for at least 15 seconds or to sing happy birthday to. That's the best way to do it, so I get lots of soap. I like this foamy soap. Get a lot of it. I like to lather up. It's still moist enough to lather your hands. Get a little bit of water. Do some more lathering. Make sure you get in between your fingers. People, this is how you stop the bluebonic plague. The bluebonic, the bubonic plague. Wash. And there you go. Get at least three, four towels. Wash your hand and wipe your hands thoroughly, people, please. And then for the other reason why you always want to make sure that you wash your hands before you touch the handle is because I take the leftover paper that I just wiped my hands with and I blow my nose. Uh, yeah. And then I take that towel and I use it to open the door. So I hope you learned something here today. Please follow it. You guys will be safe out there. And uh, take care. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.